at Vape Jam UK a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was handed, along with lots of juice samples, I was handed a whole bunch of juice samples, you can see them here, from a company called Tob, T-O-B. Um, as far as I know, you can't get them in the UK yet, but you will be able to soon. Um, the message that was given to me as, as the, the Italian manufacturers handed it to me was that this is top quality juice. Um, they all say that though. <laughs> um, but uh, it's slightly unusual in as much as it's not made with Chinese or American nicotine. It's made with Indian nicotine. And because of this, they're hoping to get it onto the market at very competitive cost. One of the uh, comparisons that was mentioned was that it might also or might almost be at the price of Chinese juice. So what they're promising is um, a, a high quality juice, um, but at Chinese prices. Uh, so that piqued my interest somewhat. Um, so I brought them home. I invested in a dripper to put on my brand new RDNA 40, which I'm quite liking by the way, also got from Vape Jam UK. Um, but uh, I got a dripper, so because they gave me 20 different samples here. <laughs> 10 in each packet, two packets, that's 20 samples. And I've tried a few of them, and um, there's no denying that this is nice high quality juice. They also gave us a little bit of the base uh, nicotine uh, in glycerin that, that, that they're using and uh, and there's no doubt that it is very clean very pure as none of that slight chemical sort of smell or taste to it or anything like that and so with with a good quality base there's a chance that the juices are going to be darn good as well so um i'm doing this uh, vt as a sort of double header with matt garish um from vt tv's the cave uh, and what we're going to do is I've picked out a couple of flavours that I really quite like from this and, and anybody that's watched my videos over the years will know that me getting excited about a flavour is quite a rare occurrence. Um, so I'm, I'm going to present this juice uh, as, as the quality is given. Uh, the company that make it, uh, Tob, they've promised to provide all their test certificates and everything and they even want us to go and visit their factory so hopefully we'll be able to arrange that they're very proud of the of the cleanliness and the standards and the quality in their facility and um, so we're going to take the quality of the juice as a given for, for the sake of this review uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out a couple of flavours that I particularly liked and tell you what I think of them now the first juice I'm going to try, these are all like uh, sample bottles, um, I should mention, you know, they're all chip compliant, all the rest of it. Um, they're, although they're the, uh, looks like the retail boxes, they've got stickers on with free sample and they're giving us little diddy bottles of each sample and um, uh, I've already gone back to see where I can acquire some more of this stuff because it's rather good. Um, this one's called Winter and I, I'm really, really... I don't have a very sophisticated palate, I'm afraid. So um, I can only really tell you my opinion of it. Uh, I have no clue what a woody or note or an overtone or anything like that is. Uh, but I'm going to do my best to try and describe this juice to you. I'm going to just drop a little bit more on. Um, and, and do my best. So please don't laugh at me. I'm rubbish at juice reviews. But I just feel moved to do it this time. So here goes. I got this on uh, 30 watts. I think I'll up it a bit, actually. I mean, just drip some. Let's get it all the way. Crank it up. So this is at 40 watts. Now, as I say, this one's called Winter. And... It tastes nice, but I, I can't really put my finger on what it tastes like. It's kind of... It reminds me of something, and I don't know what. It's not really very helpful, is it? I told you I was rubbish at juice reviews, but I tell you what, it's gorgeous. 
It's got an almost kind of biscuity sort of taste to it. Uh, that kind of buttery, biscuity taste. Um, um, I'm assuming it's about a 50-50 concentration with there being sample bottles there. It's got a lot of information on there. If I hold it where this, you get some focus, you'll see it's got all the warning stuff. It's sort of compliant. But the one thing that's missing off the sample bottles is the uh, the ratio of PG to VG. But I'm guessing it's about 50-50, just looking at the vapour it's producing and, and then the texture of it. Um, Flavour-wise, I'm useless at this kind of thing. It's, it's got, yeah, like some biscuity, maybe a little almost a little bit of coffee, chocolate kind of thing going on. It's not sickly sweet. It's really kind of Moorish. It's good, and I'm going to be acquiring more. Right, the second juice that I've picked out, and I'm feeling you're going to hear a lot about this juice, is called Cookies. This one I can describe the flavour of. I'm going to um, heartily load this atomizer. Good atomizer, by the way. It's the Mutant X version 4. So it's fairly new. But I don't know much about dripping. So I sought some advice on a good dripper to get because I've got all this juice to taste. And I thought a dripper is the way to go. And I got some advice of Andy Abrook from Drips and Tips. And uh, he said, go for the Mutant X version 3, but the 4 was out, so I got that. Long story short, I'm really glad I did was a bit messy with it for the first few days, but I kind of think I've got the hang of it now. Uh, but it's a cracking atomizer. But I, I digress. The juice is Tob Cookies. This is all six milligram, by the way. So um, for, uh, I'm sub-ohming all of this. It's a 0 0.07 ohm coil on the RDNA 40. Um, and uh, I crank it up to 40 watts with the temperature control set at 240 degrees for the nerds. Um, I'm finding that it gives a good balance of vapor and flavor and stuff. And uh, as I say, this one, I really, really like. So I've already been back begging for more. So uh, uh, as soon as this stuff's available in the UK, I shall be buying as much of it as I can get my hands on. It's called Cookies and it tastes like cookies. It is just wonderful. Think um, the, the the fancy ice creams you can get, like Hagen Dass and Ben and & Jerry's and stuff. When they say cookies, it's that kind of flavour. It's very, very sweet. Um, not quite chocolatey, but cookies. Think cookie dough. A yeast of vapour juice called Vermilion River Kentucky Vanilla Blend. And this is reminiscent of that, but much stronger flavoured, um, which is a good thing because I like that flavour. Um, I haven't used that stuff for ages because you can only buy it in little bottles now and I can't be done with all that. Um, but this I really, really like and would definitely recommend to try it if, if you're into sort of biscuity sweet. As I say, the quality of the juice, taking it as a given. Uh, there's no sort of chemical taste or anything to it. It's just, it's just the flavour that you want. That's a, that's a, that's all you get. Um, it's really really good. So, with apologies for how rubbish I am at juice reviews. That's my review of winter and cookies, and it's good especially the cookies. The range seems to include a load of tobacco flavours, there's some fruit ones. Just reading those off the top, we've got things like uh, shake berries, mango, uh, there's some coffee flavoured ones, there's a mojito, there's a couple of different coffee flavoured ones. 
like I say, there's 20, and I will work my way through them. And I know that Marco from Vapor Scene uh, has some as well, so no doubt he'll be chiming in at some point. You already heard from Matt, perhaps by now in this VT. It depends how he edits it. Uh, but I'm a fan. I'm a convert. I'm already saying, hey, guys, have you found your UK retailer yet? <laughs> And from One Flavour Dave, that's actually quite a commendation. So uh, thanks for the samples, guys. You want to send some more, you know where I am. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll hand back to Matt. Thanks for watching. Hello, and welcome to my sofa. So, um, yeah, you've just seen Dave Kidson do his, uh, his little bit on the, uh, the top juices. So it's now my turn. So what have I got? Well, I've got here some uh, apple caramel. So I'm just going to give it a top up because I've been vaping this quite heavily. Do, 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 do. Now, I'd agree with Dave on this 50-50 uh, juice. Um, we've got no information to actually say it is or it isn't, but it does seem like that. Anyway, for you stats nerds out there, uh, 37 watts at um, 1 ohm on dual coils. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, what I'm getting, I'm getting a very clean flavour. I'm getting uh, apple, as one would hope, being it's apple caramel. It's a very crisp and clean apple. It's got a bit of a bite to it, which I like. It's slightly acidic, um, but I'm not getting caramel. What I'm getting, I'm getting spice, like uh, a mulled uh, spice cider, really. So, um, yeah, and that suits me quite nicely. Yeah, flavor reduction is good, throw hits good, flavor is exceptional. So, let's move on then to the uh, shake berries. Now, like Dave Kidson's as well, my bottles are labeled free sample. I don't have an awful lot of information on them. There's a little pamphlet on what you should do if you get it in your eyes and stuff in the box. But uh, yeah, um, I don't have any topping this up. Let's try it. Yes, yes, I do need to top it up. All right. Okay. Again, good vapor production. Now, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect of this, but now I've tasted it, the name actually makes sense. It's milkshake. It's, uh, it's a raspberry and strawberry milkshake. That's exactly what it is. really nice and creamy and uh, a nice clean again a very clean flavor and i can't emphasize that enough that it's superb nice clean flavor of uh of strawberries and, and raspberries and uh, again nice and creamy it's exactly like a mcdonald's milkshake which i'm not a massive mcdonald's fan but i quite like their milkshakes it's put a big smile on my face so um yeah as soon as this is available in the UK, really, really, really do seek it out. It's superb stuff. And, uh, yeah, I shall be seeking out more of this. Well, that's all from me. Cheers.